Uh, all right, let's talk about augmented reality. Um, <laughs> why are you laughing? It's the next big thing. Didn't you see the article in Bloomberg? <laughs> I watched it. I don't need to read on Oh, yeah, no, I like, I read you don't need German to tell you it's the next big thing. Uh, uh, Apple is betting on augmented reality. We've known that. I mean, Tim Cook keeps saying augmented reality in interviews, so that's Tim signaling. But uh, is it? I guess the the leak is that this is going to be in the next iPhone, and that uh, uh, there will be. I don't know what. <laughs> It's not going to be a clear. <laughs> is it going to be a clear it, iPhone? No, so the thing is, the thing is, that, uh, the camera is the biggest seller. We saw that with the iPhone Seven Plus. Anything Apple can do to the camera to make people want it is what drives sales for the iPhone. And it's unclear. Yeah. You know, you've done a lot of DSLR stuff. They've got the, the, the depth of field stuff now. They've got the uh, analog zoom stuff now. What else can you do with the camera? AR starts to become super interesting if you can put sensors in there that make people think that camera is even better and can do even cooler stuff like spatial mapping and all. Yeah, all they're complaining, things. comparing it to Google's Project Tango, which does that. So that you can hold up your phone in a store and you'd see where everything is. Yeah, but Google's is made by a bunch of engineers and Apple's going to be driven by a bunch of designers. Right. So it's going to have a different sort of real world use case. Yeah. Apple has, according to German, hired a number of uh, people uh, to do this, including uh, a couple of years ago, Mike Rockwell, who ran the hardware and new technologies groups at Dolby. Uh, Rockwell also advised Meta, a small firm that makes a $950 pair of AR glasses. The, the 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 leaks seem to indicate that Apple will at some point do glasses, but that this year they'll put AR in the iPhone. Everything I can think of, and you know, this is where Apple really blows your mind, right? I, everything I can think of right now is kind of incremental on existing augmented reality stuff, kind of Pokemon Go mm -hmm. writ large. Or Hololens, or yeah. Uh, in fact, they have people from the Hololens group, from the Google Glass group, um, somebody from. Uh, uh, Amazon's virtual reality platform. I forget who it was, but there's a third party helmet that lets you put an iPhone in that makes it work like a HoloLens. And they were just, they could not we stop saying how. We had them on. We had them yeah. on. And it was awesome. And it was better than HoloLens. Because, yeah, because <laughs> the silicon in Apple's phones is so great. Right. Like it's, there's it's so, so much yeah. power. So yeah. he, he, we did this on the new screensavers about a month ago. He demonstrated, you know, we were, we were in augmented reality here in this studio. And, you know, there was, you could put stuff on a table. And then you look over to the right, and there's a brick wall over here, and a hole opened up in the wall, and you could step into a bookstore and become suddenly virtual reality. It was a very impressive demo. Yeah, and if you huh. think about what pegs an A10 processor, it's the uh, depth of field and sometimes the filters that you use for photos, but very little else really pegs that. And Apple is still increasing the power of those processors. So yeah. they're going to want to use that for something, and that AR makes a great use case. Apple has also opened an office in New Wellington, New Zealand, and lured employees from Weta Digital, which is, of course, a special effects company that uh, that uh, worked on The Hobbit and King Kong and Avatar. They acquired Matayo, which was an AR software company, uh, and their former CIO now works uh, with Apple. Uh, Flyby Media last year, which makes an AR-related camera program. And Tim Cook visited Magic Leap last summer. So, uh, which is, of course, the, the secret, super secret AR play that everybody's... Prime Sense. Yeah. Prime Sense, the, the Israeli company that did the, the Connect for uh, yeah. Microsoft. They've got people from uh, the Oculus team. So, that, you know, this is what Apple can certainly do. They, they've spent a lot of money pulling a lot of people together. This is what they did before the Apple Watch came out. Uh, but but I'm, I'm just curious, mostly because I'm worried about having to buy dinner in Paris... Uh, <laughs> I'm just curious what you think we'll see this year. <laughs> yeah, hard to know. I, I do think that Apple is going to be trying to bring more into this space, but you know, unless we've, we're taking Clip as an example of uh, uh, of where they're going, it's it's just hard to predict. Right. Apple always wants to um, to excel when it comes out with a new technology. And, you know, we have to consider what are they going to have to do to bring AR to the masses? Because that's what's going to make it huge. That's right. what's going to make it a blockbuster product when the masses can just use this stuff. Right. That's what happened with, you know, iPhone and, and, and iPad as much as people like to uh, talk about uh, sales of iPad. It's still hugely popular. So... 
are they going to be able to take a technology uh, like AR and bring it to the masses? Or are they going to bring it out slowly, which kind of tips their hand, you know, of where they're going? Right. So, you know, it's a it's a tough thing. <clears throat> they're in a, they're in a tough spot with this. There's a super. Interest like Apple doesn't do chipsets, they do feature sets. Like they never did NFC, they did Apple Pay, and they didn't do two cameras. They did a camera system that has happens to have two lenses that gives you depth of field and uh, manual, sorry, and, and uh, analog zoom. And this is the same thing. I think Tim Cook even said this out loud that AR to them is not a product; it's a core technology, the way that like LED is to displays. And I wouldn't be surprised if Apple decides on certain key features, like they want to have the ability for you to change focus points after you've taken a photo, or they want you to have the ability to rotate an image after you've taken it, or maybe live photo suddenly becomes way more dynamic, and they'll pick whatever they think are the one or two marquee features that'll make a great product, and we'll see AR start coming out that way. And then they'll start building out. I don't think we'll see AR goggles this year. That sounds like it's still a little ways out, uh, especially to make an Apple-style product out of them that has decent battery life and is light enough and is casual enough that you could wear it without you know, freaking people out. Um, but I think we'll absolutely see those features in whatever the iPhone 8 camera has and iPhone 9 beyond that. What would you imagine this year, though, Apple would do? Would it just be an AR app? Would they change Springboard to include AR in it? Oh, uh, God, it's like Pokemon Go, but with Springboard. Like, uh, he was a real world trying to was catch the it, icons as they're Was it Gene Munster? Who was it that was talking about this? Of course, Gene is famous for promoting Apple doing a television set. For they years. did. They just they just have to go to Johnny Ives' house to use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he told CNBC. Watch TV with Johnny. He told CNBC that Apple's next iPhone will lead to a big paradigm shift. Uh, An augmented reality will be the key, laying the foundation for the next computing paradigm. Wow. Mm. Uh, but what? I don't know what could what could it be. What would be? How would this look? So, I mean, look, it's clear that Apple's going in big on this. And I'm asking you to predict something that it traditionally is a very difficult thing. Apple, you know, we all knew Apple obvious was making a hindsight. smart... Yeah, <laughs> obvious in hindsight. We all knew Apple was making a smartphone. We had no idea what the iPhone really was going to mean. Um, what, what, what do you think this is going to look like this year? What, what's difficult <laughs> is, is is that we don't know how far along Apple is. Right. That's the difficult part. Uh, you know, they could be ready to release right now and they're they're going to put it in the next iPhone. Or they could be, you know, a year be, uh, before they're even ready for that. But what and, would it be? Would it be? Uh, well, the, it's not going to be actually, a clear phone. I don't even think that makes sense. I mean, nobody wants well, a Well, the battery phone. wouldn't be clear, right? So yeah, you, you can't. Be I mean, at the battery. maybe a little bit on the top would be. I don't know what would be clear. So, I I mean, I think I'm safe on that bet. Uh, but it might appear to be clear because if you hold it up and you've got your camera showing what you're looking at, it might look well, like, like you're looking like through. Xiaomi did that, right? Well, we've seen that. That's what's what Pokemon yeah. Go does, too. I mean, that's not... Oh, but when you have the bezel-less, like I think Xiaomi did that picture where you have the bezel-less phone with the, with the throughput camera, and if you just hold it up and it looks like there's no, almost like a very thin outline of a phone because yeah. the camera's placing what was on the screen and the screen goes edge to edge. I know that Scoble's going to say that's what I meant when that comes out. And it's gonna say, <laughs> I, I know I he's going to do that. <laughs> he said, Robert, I couldn't understand you over the shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, I mean, uh, of all of the analysts, he's the most uh, uh, aggressive about how far Apple's going to take it this year. Like, this is going to blow your minds. I mean, they're, they're a big, big wealthy, resource-intensive company, and they have a conservative and, an, and a, what's the other word, the um, an audacious prototypes, and the, sometimes they can't deliver Now, here's both. something... Here's something I'd like to see, which is holding your iPhone up to, you know, just, you know, having it be, to, in essence, seeing someone's face and then identifying them. Because one of the, problems that you know when you when you know lots of people or you see someone very infrequently you're like yeah i recognize who you are i just can't for the life of me pick out your name that, that i like augmented reality that would yeah. i'll tell I you my name. no 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 don't tell me your name i want to ar you no no my name yeah. is don't say it i'm aring you oh i just <laughs> stay started stop I'm moving got it. <laughs> are you jonathan oh no sorry oh so close <laughs> well here's here's a concept from a guy named gabor Bal Balaw. you have you show your daughter <laughs> And then the phone says, Sandra's calm and seems fine. Her heart rate is 72 beats per minute. Her body temp is 98.8. Her breathing is 24 breaths per minute. We've now synced with health. Is that doable? 
That's kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 I think so. And would yeah, you want it to? I mean, I, like, inter- like, put the phone down and talk to your daughter. Yeah, yeah. I'd, 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 be turn- <laughs> I'd be turning those things off. Yeah. She, she looked, can, you ma- can, you, can you imagine what my heart rate would be if I walked by a Heineken display? Can you yeah, imagine what Michael's face sore. would be telling you if you held the camera up to him like that, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> Your son is incredibly pissed right now, Jim. He wants to listen to Megadeth if you put the camera down. But on the other hand, holding the phone up and doing what you were saying, Renee, that's, oh, that's Renee Ritchie used to work with him. <laughs> that kind of thing would be very useful, especially as we get older. Especially if you have ear pods and you can do it. Sorry, air ah, pods, you can do it uh, yeah. passively. Yeah, you do, it, you, do it from, you do it from down low. I mean, you're pointing the iPhone up from your waist. And you're like, who is that person? <laughs> I'm just, I'm not Hi. identifying people. And, and, and the AirPods guy, are saying, a little to the left. I can't see. Hi, yeah, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> analyzing, analyzing. Yeah. Zoom resolve. Zoom resolve. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, hundreds of engineers are working on whatever it is. I mean, this and is the kind of exciting. I mean, we hear hundreds of engineers in augmented reality, and I how know. many work on a Mac Pro? Right, hundred are on cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could you just put five on a Mac Pro? I think that'd be enough. I mean, they're different. They're they're di- they're really different engineers, though. It's not like <laughs> yeah, right. It's not like oh, I wanted the car, but now they gave me the Mac Pro. Where do the wheels go? I'm not sure. <laughs> I could see glasses. Glasses make sense. I don't know what you do with the iPhone this year that makes it anything more than just glorified Pokemon Go. But then that lack of vision is, you know, maybe just what makes means just that. Just be odd. Like, I'm not saying we would never do it, but it would be odd to see Apple, you know, selling this. Yeah, but, I but think that people would revolt. I think people say, no, no, we're already looking at our phones too much. We don't want that. That, that's so that's exactly the point. Be, I, we don't know where they are with this or right. what it is that they plan to bring it to the masses. Right. Could they do something with the cameras so that you could hold the phone in a much more sort of normal way, you know, like sort of like, I can't, can I get it in the picture here? Um, you know, so that you're, you're, you're looking at it, you know, kind of flat, but the camera is seeing straight ahead. Right. Um, because that's the problem. I mean, you walk around in a city and people are sitting there looking at their iPhones. It's terrible. But they're not holding them straight up in front right. of their faces. They're right. holding them flat. And so right. you sort of need a camera. For, well, you can, and you can always tell when somebody's playing Pokemon Go because... They are holding it in a way that they can yeah. see the sidewalk. I apologized for that, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I, I should also point out that one has to presume that Apple isn't light years ahead of everybody else in this space. Microsoft's been working on this for a while, and the HoloLens uh, is very limited in terms of field of view because it's a standalone pair of glasses that has its own battery CPU operating system. Uh, it don't, you know, you know, it is, it is a very limited developer edition, and, and even Microsoft says it's two years before we're going to have the first consumer version, Hololens 3.0. We're going to, in fact, because we want to get that out sooner, we're skipping the inter- intermediate version. So I, I can't imagine. I maybe Apple is light years ahead of where Microsoft is, and Microsoft is two years away from. A wearable I tried set. Daniel Rubino's uh, Hololens, and it was funny because he had Skype running, and I didn't know it. Then I turned around, and I felt like Skype was—you know that game when kids stand behind you and you try to turn and they turn with you, so you can't. Oh, see. I hate that. That's what it felt like. Like where's Skype? <laughs> where's Skype? And I would keep turning around and just back. <laughs> 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 and, uh, well, that's the other risk. I mean, uh, if Apple's working in a vacuum, uh, there's also the risk that it makes something that the consumers are going to say, "Hmm, no thanks, no thank you." Like 3D, yeah, 3D, 3D. Uh, I would even <laughs> submit that VR is not killing it in the way that I would agree some people thought yeah, it yeah, would. It's and not. that's why Apple didn't go into it they didn't see the market there okay all right fair enough we were talking I mean the they other- did they they did the same thing with uh with NFC they right. were very clear that they were not going to do anything in NFC because they didn't see a market there and they were right I might argue with you on that one. Well, no, they were they were right at the time years ago when people were were putting NFC in devices but there was nothing for NFC to actually do at that Yeah, time. that that dopey so, idea of tapping things to. Yeah, so know, it was yeah. kind of like a, a checklist item. Well, we have right. NFC. You can't do anything with it, but we have it. So, um, yeah, that that's kind of what I was. Do I you was think that at. was a disadvantage though? That Apple maybe as a result is a little behind in NFC. I mean, you could do a lot more with the NFC in an Android device than you can in an iPhone. No, I I don't. I I think Apple went exactly the way that they wanted to go with with that stuff so yeah I, I think it's a matter of use if you look at what apple pay can do 
I mean, that's something that that we use. I know. Uh, well, I use I use the NFC on my Android devices all the time to pair to my camera. It's a much easier process to tap the uh, phone to the camera, copy photos over for my Canon, my Leica, and my Sony. All three have NFC on the side. You can't do it with an iPhone because Apple won't let you get access to the NFC chip. I mean, there are you. There are, I think, very useful it's just things you can do with NFC. Probably not use cases. I think would sell would cost everything for Apple is like, will it? Will people not buy large iPhones if we don't include this? Well, you know, Apple's got the courage to do a lot of things, including now. Now, here's the something jet. they could do with augmented reality, which is a really, really small, easy thing to do. Is they could build automated QR code scanning into the camera app. While it's already got it, it's just very specific to certain things. But isn't isn't you know qr codes you know QR they codes on every every boarding pass every you know they're they're used they're used in a lot of places but a lot of it is that apple never built it in so you've got to get an app give, and that's a problem that would give currency so, a leg back up in the market adam yeah as i said you know if you look every boarding pass in the world is a qr code now qr codes yeah. are out there they're just used in very specific fields and because they never were able to get the chicken and egg mass market problem as soon as you have a specific spot that's where they're that's what they're replacing you mean so like ambient qr already, reading you're just walking down a a, a call like an aisle in a store and it's scanning around you as you're walking well is it on tomato can super easy oh that'd be great it could it could scan the shelves as i'm walking and tell me that the tomato soup that i like is on sale <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll find out. You know, this is this is where Apple, you know, has in the past uh, blown people's minds uh, by by taking a, a product others were doing and putting Apple's unique uh, user friendly spin on it and making it a real deal. They mainstream it. They mainstream, mainstream it. And they Package haven't done it. it. Mainstream it. They haven't done it in a while, but uh, uh, this could be the one. You can sense my 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 skepticism, I guess. <laughs>